Kojigo1962 here, and today, let's talk about something special. We all know about DVDs, but over time, older DVDs are forgotten or just outright called awful. But these DVDs, although not as good as modern Godzilla DVDs, are great addition to my collection that I watched all the time as a kid. So today, let's take a look at the history of the Classic Media Godzilla DVDs. Classic Media is a subsidiary of Universal Pixels, and it was a company that released many films and TV shows on home media, some of these films and shows being Kaiju Media. Now there are plenty of releases to go over, but in this video I'll only be going over the original 2002 releases. Maybe in future videos I'll go over the others. 2002, Classic Media and Toho collaborated to release 5 films on DVD. These being Godzilla King of the Monsters, Godzilla vs. Mothra, Godzilla's Revenge, Tale of Mech Godzilla, and Rodan. The versions of these films were all the American releases. An interesting fact is that Godzilla King of the Monsters was the only film to be released on VHS at the same time as the DVDs released. The DVDs are very basic, but are fun to use and look at. Godzilla King of the Monsters is an American recut of the 1954 original classic Gojira. This version added an actor Raymond Burr playing the character Steve Martin. This version has a lot of edits compared to the original film, but we're here for the DVDs. So how is it? Well, we start with what's probably my favorite part of the DVDs, the intro. I'm a sucker for the intros, and although simple, it's so effective for me. The menu has three options, play movie, scene access, and special features. The play movie will obviously play the film, and the scene selection will bring us to different scenes we can pick from to start the film from. And now special features. First up, Mono. Mono is an audio channel that indicates the disc contains one channel Dolby Digital Audio. After Mono, there's 5.1 Surround, which will play the film in that manner of surround sound. And finally, there's GameCube Promo, which is just a trailer for Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. The disc is very bare bones, but although simple, it does its job. A perfect DVD for someone who just wants the film and that's it. And all the different sound options are helpful for people who just want to listen to the movie in their preferred way. The reasoning for the GameCube Godzilla trailer is because the DVD is released the same year that game was released. Now which on the rest of the DVDs? Well, the exact same things. Yeah, all the DVDs have the same selections and special features down to the GameCube trailer being the same on all the DVDs. These films were released separately and eventually together in a collection. The collection has a nice box design and gives a shiny reflection. The art for the box features an image of Godzilla firing his atomic breath at his city. This art is used for both the front and the back of the box. Meanwhile, on the top and side shows off all the films in the collection, and the bottom is just all copyright mumbo jumbo. An interesting note is that on the side it reads, Special Bonus DVD Rodan. Now I'm not going to sit here and say this is the best Godzilla DVD collection out there. These are very bare bones and simple, with questionable pixel quality. But I grew up with these, so I'm very biased. Though if you are someone looking to buy Godzilla DVDs, I'd only recommend these if you can get them for cheap, and if you're okay with only watching the film. There are better made releases that you can find, and all these films are made available to watch free with ads on YouTube. Just keep in mind if you do all that, all of them will be in Japanese except for Godzilla King of the Monsters, because it's the American release of the Japanese classic. These DVDs were released over the years, and many people picked them up. They were simple introductions to the Godzilla franchise, and helped many people like myself get into the franchise. And thanks to all the audio options, allowed many people to listen to the films in their favorite way. Though these aren't the only releases by Classic Media for the Godzilla franchise. There's plenty of releases that span from 2002 to 2014. But this is where I leave off. A simple look back on the first ever Classic Media Godzilla releases. But hey, maybe I'll go over the rest. I do own a lot of them after all, so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. I hope you all enjoyed, and let me know in the comments what you thought about this video. And tell me your thoughts if you own the Classic Media Godzilla releases. And don't forget to subscribe. Godzilla1962, signing off.